just here recently, Tiffany and I went somewhere for the latest episode of Around the Corner, mm -hmm. and we me. felt like it was bridging the hundreds while we were out there, We right? kind of felt weak, right? Mm -hmm. We were like, how can we not handle this? Because everyone that is from that area was doing just fine. Yeah. <laughs> so we're talking about Altus, Arkansas. Oh, wine thanks for country, filling me in. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. so here's the deal. Out. Zach had to work this day, okay? Mm -hmm. And me and Tiffany, we just, we got to get, we got to work too. We had to get things done, so we, we had to leave Zach it. behind. Doesn't, from the tease I've seen, you guys weren't doing much working. Uh, well, we that may be true. We had some fun. We really loved our jobs that day, you, let me tell you. It's all I've been hearing the last several days since you guys got back. <laughs> we have made him feel bad, and we definitely <laughs> FaceTimed him from it having a great time. Yeah, absolutely. So we went to Wine Country in Altus. It's right here in our own mm -hmm. backyard. If you haven't been, you have to check this out. Here's a preview of what you can find there. On this week's episode of Around the Corner, we're here in the wine capital of Arkansas, Altus, where they have four different wineries. Yeah, so today we're going to take you just to a couple of them so you can see the whole process from the vine to the wine. It's all done right here. So for our first stop in wine country here in Five Country, we're stopping at Post Winery. They've been here since 1880. Just one of the legacies where they're showing us today how everything is done. Yeah, everything's in sign to tour wine country from the wine tasting, which is cool, right? To having lunch, even their production. Let's go check it out. Hello. So this is Tina Post. And she's going to show us around today. Ready? the wine tasting room don't be fooled there's stuff for the kids too don't let the bottle fool you 100% great juice and then of course parents there's stuff for you too you just go around the corner here and they've got some of their favorite summer wines right now looks like Joe's trying stuff yeah so Tina here was telling us about this one right here the sweet sangria I mean this one smells really good smell that mm. so what's in this one it is a Merlot based wine with orange lime and cherries so when you finish up wine tasting, if you're hungry, you can head over to the trellis room. They're open every Tuesday through Saturday. Yeah, Tina here tells us that this is actually farm to table, right? Desserts made from scratch, sourdough bread made daily. Oh, wow. delicious. That sounds great. So can you show us how it's all made now? I can. Let's go. That's right, so we're here in the fermentation room to see what this is all about. Tina, what is this? Yeast is eating grape sugar, making alcohol. There's a lot of heat being generated, and that's where these tanks come in. They're stainless steel co-fermentation tanks, and they keep all the, the temperature control, keeping all the flavors, colors, and smells in it. Perfect, can we taste it? Okay, so we hear this is the strong one, so before tasting it, we're just going to go ahead and head to the next winery. So our next stop, just a few miles up the road, is Weedeker Wine Cellars. Yeah, we're going to get some more of that wine tasting, some more of touring wine country, so let's go check it out. All right, so they have free wine tasting here at Weedeker, and we're just going to get right to it. That's right. So this is Dennis. He's helping us out today to show us the best that Weedeker has to offer. What do you got? This is a bottle fermented rosé. It's a sparkling wine that was uh, a collaboration with a winery on the West Coast. Oh, it's okay. pink. Look at the bubbles. restaurant on site, Swiss themed, really cool in here. Yeah, so Dennis, tell us a little bit about the history inside here. Okay, this is the original home place and the original wine cellar from 1880. 
that our great grandfather does when they first came from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. We're from German speaking Switzerland. Okay, I hear it's really popular. Do you have a reservation for us? I think we do. Grayson, do we have something? <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. After a long day of a touring wine country and doing some wine tasting, don't forget the delicious food. So we had to wrap up the best day here at the Wine Keller. Cheers! Cheers. All right, that's a tour of Altus, the wine capital of Arkansas. You can find everything here from growing the grapes to the production all here now. And just take a look at this view. Absolutely beautiful. You can see all the surrounding cities, even Mount Magazine. Definitely a place you want to stop. Yeah, that's right. So come take a tour, see what you can find right in your own backyard. Well, that's it for this week's Around the Corner. Or should we take a picture of it? Yeah. Some of the best views there in Altus um, yeah. to look. But no, I, seriously, like there, they treat you so good. If you go to wine country, mm -hmm. any of oh, those wineries. We felt like we were family. They all support each other and they will treat you right. I mean, you can camp there in the RV park that they have. You could do wine tasting. You can tour the vineyards. Whatever you want to do is all right there. And they then that food a, is good. What's it called? Yeah, the chicken uh, farm looks really good. Yeah. <laughs> yerk. They have uh, a yerk. The a yerk. Uh, they have a yerk. Uh, is it a, a yerk? It's a yerk, yeah, yeah. which is like a, a tent type. Mm -hmm. Deal, yeah, you can yeah. stay the night. Those are fun. Uh, it's affordable now, too. If I know Tiffany as well as I think I do, uh, she didn't like any of those photos there at the end. And uh, you got to. I get, didn't even get them sent to me. You got to get at least ten before she'll. We got okay, you might want to be nice. She's we have a gift for you. Oh, you did give me uh -huh. something. We got you. It only took you well, a week to give it to me. Whitaker sent this for you. Oh, they did. and a Cabernet. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. You're this welcome. will be enjoyed here and this weekend. And it doesn't and then a they sent you a t-shirt with I've the wine I've literally been standing here with you for well. five minutes and had no you didn't idea. See you didn't notice. I, didn't, I, I have no idea what's going on. Here's oh, the bag. Thank yeah. you so much. So what happened was is we had so much fun on this you one. You felt bad. And discovered something so great in our backyard that we wanted to bring you a piece of it. So well, thank you so much. You had to have a souvenir too. Well, I, I am, uh, we are a big wine family, so uh, yeah. we, I was sad to, uh, to not be able to make this one, but it looks like you guys had a really good time, and I do look forward to getting down there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And I think Tiffany may have even found, like, a champagne to serve at her wedding. For the wedding. I it's mean, so it's a, uh, it's a business trip. It's it is a business trip. Yeah. It's everything. It's everything. So, yeah, that, go there. That, that was great. Treat, like, I love the final shot there, too. Uh, looking out over the River Valley was really mm -hmm. pretty, too, so uh, that was really neat that you guys found that. Mm -hmm. It is, it absolutely. Great. And don't forget to Tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll be there in Altus because the Great Festival is going on today and tomorrow. But we'll be there tonight to do the, the grape stop to see who That's wins, right. can make the most grape juice. Yeah, I've heard big things. I was. You're going down. That's all you've heard. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going down. We'll I'm going to win. We'll see. I am looking forward to being down there. Are you going to share some of this we'll with us? Well, it, it, I'll let it breathe for a little bit. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. Stay with us. we got more 5 News this morning right after this.